Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the expansion for Scythe, Invaders from Afar. And of course you might want to think that this is an expansion actually for uh, Flashpoint Fire Rescue, since it's from afar, but anyway, it's not. It is for Scythe. they got the beautiful artwork on it, Stonemeyer Games. What this adds is uh, two extra factions, allows the game to be played up to seven, uh, but the uh, two new factions that come in are also playable via the... Uh, the very ingenious Automa system, and uh, there's some extra cards in there, I guess, uh, to run the Automa specific to these two factions. It's a small box, as you can see here. Uh, I'm not sure how it fits into the uh, into the regular box, or if you have to keep these separately. But uh, see, so the factions are the Albion and the Tagawa. So let's get out our nasty razor and take a look at what's inside the scythe expansion man this artwork on scythe is just so gorgeous i mean it's it is i, I don't know any artwork better seriously i mean this this wins it sets the bar way high for anything that comes along after this so open the the box, I guess it's about, you know, like 12 by maybe 6, maybe a little bit longer. All right, so you get a tray. That's good. Like the uh, the base game has all the, all the uh, figures in a tray. Um, pull those out to start with. Uh, Amazon did some rough and tumble. Well, I don't know if Amazon did it as much as the uh, post office did, but uh, they're in pretty good shape. So this is one of those... Double clamshell deals. Oh, looks like it's taped. Kind of like you get an X-Wing miniature. Yeah. Come with the uh, inner and outer wall. Plastic. Again, another IQ test for me. Which I failed because the blade did not go through there. It's scotch tape, Kevin. You can do this, right? All right, so there we go. So you get the uh, you get the four mercs for each faction in their colors. Very cool. Very interesting. I like these. Uh, I like these purple ones. I'm not sure which which faction purple is, but uh, these are pretty cool. Pretty cool things. And then you get the two characters. We have a, this one's kind of thin. So this is a woman with some swords. I guess this is the uh, Tagawa. And it looks like she's got a little monkey sitting on her, on her cross piece there. So that's kind of cool. All right. And then we got the other faction. And the guy's walking with a large bore gun, rifle. And a huge, huge warthog, huge tusked animal. So he's cool too. Man, these need to get painted. This is such a cool game. One of my top 20. I believe I came in. This came in number three. Uh, as I record this, we don't know where it's going to come in on the, the final top 100 players, people's choice for 2016. But definitely in the top 10, because I don't think it's not going to be in the top 10. All right, so then you got your, your faction-specific uh, you know, wooden tokens to go along with what you already have uh, in the base game. You got your special buildings, your, uh, your markers, your stars, uh, etc. So I'll put those aside. You got a couple of bag of bags to hold everything. Here's your extra Automa cards that have these faction-specific uh, instructions on them. So those will just get into your Automa deck. You have the rules and how to integrate them. Changes for the Automa, what you need to do there. Backstory on the Tagawa and the Albion. Yeah, Tagawa is purple, Albion is green. How to play with six or seven players if you've got like a week to play your game. Or maybe a whole weekend. I understand it's pretty long. And we've got our player boards. 
faction boards. So it's Connor and Max, and Akiko and Jiro are your two characters. Extra tokens, Ooh, 50 points. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Don't know what these are all going to add, but we'll see. And then you got two new of the very nice weld. So you got the little wells in here. Um, these aren't the faction boards. These are the, uh, I forget what they're called now. Um, anyway, draw the blank. Getting old. So uh, these are the ones you, you, you know, you get a variety of, you get this and your player board and this gives you your different instructions and things like that. So, uh, uh, ah, militant and innovative. So strategy boards, I guess they're called uh, for your uh, play style. So that is what you get in the box. Two new factions and all the additional materials you might need to incorporate those two factions into your existing game. It does require the existing game of Scythe from the retail edition up to be able to play. Uh, those of you who had the Kickstarter that got the custom uh, battle, battle wheels dials, uh, they're obviously going to, uh, you have to overlap those, which I think the retail game didn't even have separate ones. They were pretty much not necessary. You get the four cool mechs per faction and the leader. And that, in addition to some bags, is what comes in the Scythe Invaders from Afar expansion from Stonemaier Games. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.